Novatech's in the middle of a rug pull. It may be slow, but it's happening. Let me explain. Brandon here from Ponzi Patrol. Welcome back to the channel. Novatech put out some information yesterday on March 14th saying that you can only request withdrawals on Mondays now. So it's kind of funny that they're doing this because, well, here I'm going to show you a video of Cynthia Petion saying that this is how other scams make excuses and buy time. Having a payment system that doesn't hold payments, it doesn't charge fees, it doesn't give you an excuse. You know, I've been in stuff where they tell you you can withdraw only on Saturday between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern time, and then you miss the window every week and I can't withdraw my money. <laughs> or, you know, they, they hold it for two weeks and tell you, oh, we're processing it. Guys, this is Bitcoin. This is cryptocurrency. There's no reason why um, it should take two weeks to process a payment that is supposed to take two minutes on blockchain. Interesting that Cynthia would say this about other programs, but now her own program is doing the same thing. This is simply just another way to delay payments. This is the exit strategy. It's a rug pull, but it's slow. Let me show you what I mean. This happens in a very similar way in most Ponzi schemes. So there's usually an exit strategy that's designed to keep new money coming in while they're paying out less and less money over time until they eventually stop. This way they can extract the most amount of money from the victims as possible. So with Novatech, let's go through kind of what they've been doing here. So the withdrawal request started exceeding the new deposits because uh, a lot of people started requesting payments whenever they were getting the fraud warnings. What is it, six or seven at this point? Fraud warnings from different governments and cease and desist letters from different states. So everybody started requesting the withdrawals and they didn't have enough new deposits coming in at that point to actually pay those out. And most of those are trading account payouts. So the trading account sizes are much larger withdrawals. They're the principal balance. They've been compounding for six months, a year, two years, three years in some cases. So that money's added up and it's a larger amount of money. That's why they stopped paying those out. There's not enough new deposits to cover those. Then the bonus account withdrawals started exceeding the new deposits. So they were delayed for weeks and they're still not caught up. Then they stopped paying even the delayed bonus account withdrawals. So people, they switched the order of how it was happening. So they started paying the newer ones first rather than paying the older ones. So say you had four pending or say three pending because they're three to four weeks behind. You have three pending. The next one that you ask for, they send that one, but they don't send the other three. There are still people that haven't gotten these in over a month and uh, they've received a newer one, but not the older ones. So it seems like they're just kind of skipping out on those. I talked about this in another one of my videos. You can check that out uh, here. And in that video, I was talking about how that's a good strategy because the older members that are used to getting the bonus payments on time and now they're not, they're not as likely to refer Novatech to people because of the issues. The newer members that have just signed up, if they're getting their bonus account withdrawals, they'll go out recommending it saying, I don't have any problems with withdrawals. So after this, after they were delaying those, they made a new rule uh, about a week ago where now there's a new minimum withdrawal of $250. And this sounds like it contradicts what I'm saying because that means that it would be a larger payout. But the issue here is that some people won't actually be able to cash out every week. If you have $1,000 in, you're getting $30, $20, $30 a week. You can't, you can't cash that out. You have to wait for months before you can do that. You have to wait, uh, say you're getting 20 a week, you have to wait 10, 12 weeks before you can even consider cashing it out because they won't let you. So that's just another way to delay payments. If you have less money in the account, then they won't do it. That also promotes you letting the money compound longer so that you can eventually start getting them out weekly. Whenever you add it back to your trading account balance, then your weekly payouts look like they go up. So it will increase your trading account balance. But as we know, those are just numbers on the screen at this point. They're claiming to pay that out on April 1st. No chance that that happens. And now 
you can only withdraw on Mondays, which is mainly what this video is about. This is another way to delay payments because some people will inevitably miss cashing out at this time. Whenever, like on Monday, say they're busy, say they forgot about it. Some people won't even know about this rule this week. If they don't know about this rule, then they're going to skip their cash out and they're going to go to cash out next week and it's not going to be there. All of this is happening because there's not enough money coming in to cover the payouts. All the delays, all the rules, they're designed to pay out less and less money over time while your trading balance looks like it's growing. There are people in Cash FX, for example, who haven't been paid out in about 14 months, but their accounts on the screen look like they're just going up and up and up. So if you're never able to get that money out, which they haven't in Cash FX, and you won't be able to in Novatech, then it's going to look like you're rich on paper, but in reality, you'll never be able to get the money out. This is no different than any of the thousands of Ponzi schemes that have come before Novatech. If you're invested in Novatech, do you still think it's legitimate at this point, even though Cynthia keeps lying and she keeps limiting access to your money? If you still think that it's legitimate, then I have a few questions for you. You hate your nine to five job and have dreams of making millions of dollars, maybe retiring early, taking nice vacations, living a little bit lavishly, buying a bigger house, a nicer car, those kinds of things. You think about that regularly. What would life be like if you had more money? Or do you think maybe that having a positive mindset, thinking that all you need is hope and faith, that those are the things that will bring you success in life? Or maybe you just wish there was like a magic money tree that just produced money all the time. And you didn't really have to do anything for it. You could simply just put in $500 or $1,000 and then that would turn into a lot of money. So my guess is that you probably answered yes to all of these or at least a few of the questions there that I'm asking. And if so, then you have something that's called confirmation bias. You want this to be real so bad that you're just holding on to hope and faith that this is true, and then you couldn't have possibly made a wrong decision investing into a Ponzi scheme. Look, I have no reason to make this up. It's just that you can almost sniff out the fake ones like that. 